o'clock within the last hour, the teen you see here on the left of your screen was sentenced for a deadly crash last February in Lincoln County. That wreck took the lives of three of her friends and left life altering injuries with the fourth friend. And it came out afterwards. Haley Zank was under the influence while driving. The sentencing just happened in St. Charles, and that's where our Shoshana Stahl is live at four. And Shoshana, the parents are not happy about this sentencing. David, it's quiet out here right now, but don't let that deceive you. Just moments after the judge gave his decision, family of those three teens and Trevor Bogart, that fourth teen, out here angry and upset by that decision. Haley Zank walking out of the courtroom in handcuffs just across the street here to the St. Charles County Jail. That's where she will spend the next 120 days. That was the judge's sentence. And the family that we spoke to here, angry with that decision, say it doesn't send the right message to other teens in the area about the consequences of drinking and driving. Now, let's remind you of this crash. It happened in February of 2023. Haley Zank was driving the car at the time on February 5th when she took off of the road. That killed Emily McNeese, Will Flickinger, and Caden Tyler. We know Trevor Bogart has life-altering injuries from that crash. We heard from all of the families today in court with letters in support of their loved ones that are either injured or deceased from this crash. The courtroom completely packed. More than 50 people inside of that courtroom today. Everyone in tears as Kate and Tyler's mom took the stand to give her impact statement since her son was killed more than a year and a half ago. We were shown more pictures of our 15-year-old son who just hours before was full of life, a jovial teenage boy, was now laying lifeless in a body bag. 9.01 a.m., I find out that my life has changed forever. My sweet baby boy is never coming home. My family would never again be whole, and I'll forever be broken. Now, we know the judge issued a 10-year sentence, but it's a suspended execution of sentence, meaning that after her 120 days in jail, she'll have five years of probation. We're about to hear from the Lincoln County prosecutor about this case. We're going to have more on that, as well as the information that the statements were read for the families of Emily and Will and Trevor earlier today. Live in St. Charles County, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4. Shoshana, you continue to follow that story for us. Thank you. Right.